going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So major changes to my uh, investing. Uh, I got COVID again. You know, like the first time when, you know, COVID happened and we had like a month of twiddling our thumbs. I used that time wisely because I was, you know, sitting in an apartment, renting, sharing an apartment with some other dude in the city because I couldn't afford to live alone. I had a 550 credit score. And 1800 bucks in my name, and I owned nothing. And I decided to start digging into the financial market and learn and try to, you know, do something. And in four years, I'm pretty happy with my progress, but I want to keep going. I don't want to stop. Right? And I feel like hard times are ahead. I definitely do. And, and my, my roommate from that apartment was a nudist he was a nudist yeah he used to walk around with his freaking dick hanging out i'm like what what happens when you're when you're cooking bacon there's like that shit splatter on your dick it's kind of i mean i've had some really bad uh roommates in my day like i had two dudes uh, i used to live with two dudes from bangladesh that was pretty rough and, and uh, like, weird enough, the, the, the nudist guy was probably the best roommate I ever had in my life. So sometimes it's, yeah, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. But he was clean, he was quiet, and he was responsible, and he paid his bills. And I told him, he, he moved to a different state. I told him, like, dude, if you ever want to come back, you know, I, I would definitely rent you one of my apartments. Because I know he's clean, he's quiet. And he's responsible, and he pays his bills. No matter what, he finds a way to pay his bills. Which is all you can ask for. But yeah, I got COVID again. I was down for three days. And I decided to use that time wisely. I was, I was watching videos, listening to podcasts, reading things. And uh, yeah, I've, I've made some changes. So I've officially pulled out of the foreign exchange market you know i kind of needed the money because i have a tenant that's just fucking me so hard right now so i needed some of the money and then the rest of it i put into a different trading account so i, I wanted to do things differently because you know i think the the foreign exchange market was a great learning experience the beginning, a lot of good tax write-offs, you know what I mean? Because I was consistently losing. And then I started to plateau and flatten out. And I was winning, losing, winning, losing, winning, losing. And my account was going nowhere. It wasn't going up. It wasn't going down. It was just staying the same. Pretty much. Month after month, you know what I mean? And it's hard because day trading is difficult when you busy. Busy, 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 you know what I mean? And it's very difficult for me to believe in one of these currencies because they're all fiat, junk, fake. You know, and the fundamentals, it's like, well, it's the fundamentals aren't really good on any of them. And it's a volatile, volatile market. So when you're wrong and it goes against you, especially when it's leveraged really high, yeah, I decided for now to just back out. And I want it... I'm more of a... I, I feel like swing trading works the best for me. Whenever I'm looking at the bigger picture, I don't need to time the entry perfectly. But I'm looking at the bigger picture. Uh, maybe it's a week or a two-week or a one-month trade. Those tend to work out a lot better for me. So I think I'm going to put my attention towards swing trading and it's going to be done through uh the stock market and and the, the uh crypto market for now and we'll have to see what happens from there but basically you know i was looking into the all the migration stuff that was happening the last video i made i had a question like is all this wokeness that we're seeing coming from say you know those radical islamic dudes and i answered that question and that's no i don't i don't think it's coming from them i think this migration that's happening is 
It's happening on purpose ahead of time for something else that's later to come. The migration is being used because they want to put us on digital IDs and they're going to tell us, and I heard some people say that it's going to be Trump that is the one to do this, which if, if he does this, I'm going to be pissed. I will be pissed. He better not. But they're going to say the only way to solve this migration crisis is if we get digital IDs and then we can fix it. Right? So they're going to create a problem that's so bad that you're going to want to do something that you normally would not want to do. So they, they've got to make things bad enough to get you there. So I, I do think that's where this, this migration shit is happening. And it's mostly happening in the West. Right, it's the UK, the United States, you know, Canada, Australia, you know, to name a few, where we have uh, these issues, right? Well, on top of that, I was really looking into the new financial system, and if and if you think about how that's going to work, right? They they are going to. 100%, like I believe, if we're going to a new financial system, they will, without a doubt, collapse the U.S. dollar. It has to happen, right? So we're going to need to find other vehicles of wealth preservation in between this transformation from old system to new system. Because if you just stay in the old system then you're left as the bag holder at the top and yeah you don't you don't want that so we have to get out of the old system and be ahead of things and that's one thing i've noticed with the with the stock market just because the stock market is at all time highs and it looks like it's getting ready to come crashing back down that doesn't mean that other markets aren't in a consolidation phase getting ready for another tear higher because that's what happens, is the money just moves from one place to the next, to the next, to the next. And we just need to figure out, before it happens, where it's going, why, and we need to beat them there. Watch it go up and get out before they do. That's the name of the game. So if they're going to push us into this new financial system, yes, the U.S. dollar collapses and obviously gold silver copper right these are looking great silver consolidation looks like it's getting ready for another rip higher gold strong yeah g gold's already starting to take off so if gold's taken off yeah well the silver silver copper they're going to start to follow very shortly and then overshoot. Right? So beyond that, I, st I really started digging into the crypto market as well. But what I found, and I've always been very, very weary of the crypto markets. And I feel like the crypto markets are the beginning of the end. I do. I don't like. I do, I do not like the cryptos. Uh... I just, I, I, I feel like it's a bad thing, especially if it's done improperly. I think cryptos can be a good thing if done properly, which would be backed and convertible into gold and silver. That's how you do it properly. But we all know that more than likely that's not going to happen. But I started looking into, well, Bitcoin... Back in 1991, the NSA, NSA government agency, yeah, they, they filed the patent. Satoshi Nakamoto, that's, that's a load of horse shit. It's a load of horse shit. That guy doesn't exist. That's, that's to make this, all this crypto shit, it's, it's way ahead of time. Everything is happening way ahead of time for a reason down the line. So the cryptos were launched to get people talking about it, used to it, using it. But do you know how many people that I know personally 
that don't touch crypto. They don't know what it is. They don't know how to get into it. They don't. They just don't know. Well, guess what? If the dollar starts to collapse, you know, gold and silver is definitely. It's going to be a an obvious choice, but it's heavy. It's big. You got to order it, find it, go get it, have it shipped to your house, store it, you know, and protect it. You know, all that. So I, I do think the crypto market might look uh, very attractive to a lot of people that have never dealt with it in their life very, very quickly when the dollar starts to come down. So I, I see, yeah, crypto markets. I mean, look look at Bitcoin right now. What is What is happening right now? Consolidation for continuation. Zoom out. Look at this. We've got one, two, third wave being the biggest, fourth wave, right, being very corrective and sideways. Hey, look at that. Wave four. Boom. There's definitely one more wave to the upside on this leg regardless. So this is definitely going up. What happens from there and how high it goes, who knows? We'll have to see. But I feel like once, you know, they they rug pull the dollar, everyone bum rushes into these cryptos that they definitely have control of. They definitely were the first wallets in there that have amassed this incredible amount of wealth. I mean, this is the greatest. I mean, you thought that the U.S. dollar was the greatest Ponzi scheme of all time. Dude, you have no idea. I think these cryptos have the U.S. dollar beat big time for the biggest Ponzi scheme ever. We just made these idiots so freaking rich and powerful, it's insane. And then we wonder why the middle class is eroding. And the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. I mean, we just fucking handed it to them. God. But I do believe, at some point, the rug pull comes for the cryptos. Yank! Because then they say, hey, look, that was made by, you know, this Satoshi guy. He... Normal human beings can't be trusted. You can only trust the government. Now that everyone's in the cryptos, used to the cryptos, then they roll out their crypto, which everyone will be begging for it because there will be nowhere else to run. The dollar's gone, right? Cryptos are crashing. Gold and silver definitely, I think, will continue to crank. And But who knows? Nobody knows for sure. Maybe that some of these do survive. Nobody knows for sure, right? So yeah, I made I made some changes. So I'm going to start in the retirement portfolio. The retirement portfolio I had mostly sitting in cash for a while because I think we've all been expecting a crash. And things were crashing, especially the uh, interest rate sensitive stocks like Neo, Lucid, you know, companies that are not exactly profitable yet they're more speculative but definitely there can be some major upside for these so neo which i made a fuck ton of money off of this the last rip uh yeah we're, we're sitting right down firm in support right now so i dollar cost averaged into this from like 750 down to where we are now just bought some, bought some more, bought some more. You know what I mean? And I'm holding it, not doing anything with it. It's going to stay. I also I also bought Lucid a while ago, somewhere down here. And this actually looks like it's getting ready to crank. We've got a break in structure here. Small little... Oh, look at that. We had a double top. We broke through, and we took out multiple highs, and it looks like it's pulling back, correcting. 
potentially for another rip higher or this is a false flag it goes down a little bit lower and then it starts to come back up but regardless yeah i think at some point these are going to start to uh start to rip so neo lucid you know i'm gonna i'm gonna leave those i have aicof i put a uh not a lot of money in this i've been holding it for a while if it goes back up to its highs i'm gonna make a freaking killing and uh if it goes to zero or just stays there i'm not gonna lose that much so it's not a big deal beautiful gldg i've been holding this for a long time got in around a dollar it's at 80 cents i'm looking to just ride this up to like 350 340 320 somewhere in there and and get out Um, other than that, I actually put, I bought some SLV in the retirement portfolio, which is basically just buying more silver and shoving it in my retirement portfolio because I feel like I like silver. Even just paper silver. I like it. I do like. And, uh, this one I just added today, actually. Hercules Silver. Bad EF. Bad as fuck. And this is like an over over the counter type uh, type deal here. I heard about this one a while ago. Uh, but when I saw it, it we were up here. And I'm like, there's no way I'm buying it there. So I'm gonna wait for a pullback consolidation. And uh, yeah, I feel like this is far enough. It might come a little bit lower, but it shouldn't be that much. I mean, do we, we got a sell here with Luxy, and it's giving us the X, like get the fuck out of that short position because it's about to go up, kind of thing. Potentially, you know, for enter for entertainment purposes only. But yeah, this looks like a good uh, good long term hold. We definitely had a nice move. Consolidation. Now we're looking for continuation. If we can get that. And I'm going to keep the rest of my powder dry. And uh, wait for other opportunities. I'm also going to try to shove some more money into my individual trading account in that same app. So that I can do swing trades with like, I don't know, like Tesla stock or just di different stocks. Maybe whatever, you know what I mean? Just go and look for swing trades no matter what stock it is. See a pattern, trade the pattern, take profit and get out. But the cryptos. So I have, I do have Bitcoin still. And I have Dogecoin in a hard wallet that I hold, I own. But I did fund a trading account with uh, Coin Coinbase, which I've had that account for a while. It just didn't have any money in it. But I got into uh, XRP because of this. And... and it's like XRP. Do, do I believe in XRP? No. But they do. Because XRP is the decentralized uh, crypto that's being marketed and sold towards the big banks. The big institutions. So, I, And I feel like a lot of these Bitcoins, uh, they were building blocks. These, these are all tests and experiments. Building... The, I, I feel like the new system it's all happening here and they're getting the public to do it for them they're getting you to do the work and yeah there's a lot of people making a ton of money doing it but yeah they're getting everyone to do the work and they're, they're gonna freaking crush it and then they're going to once they have everything they need I feel like they're gonna crush this they're going to fucking crush this crypto market and just 
<clears throat> just ring it out and force you to jump ship. Because how, they're going to come out with some digital currency and be like, hey, you just got to sign all of your privacy away. What's what's to stop you to saying, no, I'm just going to stay, I'll just keep my money in Bitcoin. Fuck that, I don't want to go to your stupid system. They're going to have to shake you out. It, it just makes sense to me. So I'm not really a long-term investor uh, in the cryptos. I'm a short-term investor, for sure. And I'm going to try to do some uh, trades. And who knows? I might change my mind. You know what I mean? It's always possible to learn more and uh, see other perspectives and potentially have your mind change. But for right, you know, for right now, I really, really doubt it. I've always been weary of the cryptos. But this right here is a pennant formation or some people call it a funnel. But this is bullish as bullish as hell. So I know some people kind of uh you know, we take a measurement from here to here. And then we grab that and we put it where it breaks out. Boom. So we should be going approximately up to uh, four bucks minimum. And then if we get another consolidation, maybe another move higher from there. Or it shoots right past four and goes, who knows? Who knows? But for right now, I entered um, XRP somewhere here. I'm looking to ride XRP. I want to see it break out and come up, I would say, at least to this high, maybe to four bucks. And I'm going to take it and get out. So as of right now, yeah, that's what I got going on. Other than that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on trying to fund my individual trading account as soon as I can and then we'll start looking for other swing trades longer term holds that way we don't have to nail it spot on the head if we're a little off it's fine hold through we believe in it we trust it you, you know what I mean the fundamentals are there and there still can be I mean, you can still get huge gains, especially off of stuff that's trading for 56 cents and could go all the way to four bucks. Yeah. There's still there's still a, a lot of that. And there's a lot of like over-the-counter stuff. Like Hercules Silver. I mean, that's trading for 40, 49 cents. And this is a silver miner, which I feel like we need. There's a huge demand, right? Silver demand is growing. We need more silver miners to go get that silver. And there are leveraged trades you can place in the stock market as well. You know what I mean? <clears throat> the S&P 500, you can do that short and long. You get the Qs. Everything happens for a reason. Something isn't for nothing. God puts people in certain places at certain times for a reason. You know, the working class is clearly under attack. They want to reduce us down to peasants. But we're not going to let that happen. Because as of right now, I have money and I have freedom. And I intend to keep it that way. I'm going to take all of the knowledge that I can find, grab onto, use it, apply it, and try to grab the working class by the shirt and drag them out of the ashes that way to the top. And we're going to be fucking relentless until we get there. See you later.